Just like how my ex-wife stole my kids and my dog in the divorce, I want to steal the country of Iceland. Irene, if you're watching this, I don't even care about the kids. At least let me see my dog on the weekends. Anyways, where were we? Right. Why do I want to steal Iceland? Great question. Anyways, moving on, how are we going to steal it? Well, I've been doing a lot of testing. You see, first of all, I tried using thrusters on the 51st state in the US, Obsidian, but as it turns out, thrusters aren't reliable and I accidentally just sent it flying into the sun. Uh, I tried just pushing it around on Atlantis, but that just ended up with it sinking. Uh, and I nuked France. That that wasn't a test. I just I needed a morale boost after the past two failures. But all of these tests narrowed it down to the next reasonable solution. Tying millions of balloons to a large landmass and just lifting it up. So naturally, this leaves us with three questions. How do we get all this helium? Why did Irene leave me? And where are we getting all these balloons from? Conveniently for us, two of these questions have easy answers. For the balloons, I have been kidnapping hundreds of thousands of clowns over the past few years and forcing them to, instead of producing balloon animals, to instead make normal balloons. And anytime they disobey me and make a fun balloon animal, I give them a poke with the fun stick. Now, how do we get the helium for these balloons? Well, I got a recipe of one of the early iterations of airheads in which instead of filling a person's head with air, it would fill it with helium. So we can just eat a bunch of those to produce the helium. Easy done. So now that we have all these components, how do we put all the balloons on without being stopped by Iceland's military? Well, we just don't get stopped because Iceland doesn't have a military. Because, fun fact, they just they, they don't have any active members. So, with no active military, what about their citizens? What if for some reason, and honestly I can't think of one good reason why they would do this, but what if they didn't like getting stolen for some reason and tried to stop the plan? Well, that's easy. We do this all on June 17th, which is Iceland's Independence Day, when they become a re when it's when they became a republic. This is similar to Americans' 4th of July, in which it's a celebration and balloons are commonly seen. So, we simply claim that all of our balloons are simply for this wonderful June 17th celebration, and if anyone catches on to our plan, we just tie a bunch of balloons to them and float them off. All right. So, this gives us at least a 24-hour time frame to install all of our balloons, which will be plenty of time as I have employed the use of child labor and have thousands of children ready to set up balloons for us. And before you ask about the children's happiness, it's it's all okay. The children were extremely happy to do this as they haven't seen the sun daylight in like 6 months because they've been in the coal mine, so it's like a little vacation for them, a little fun time. Right. So, we will then float Iceland over to the US. I'm thinking we just drop it on top of Wyoming because well, what are all five people living in the Walmart parking lot of a state going to do about it? And bam, that's it. Pretty simple and realistic plan. I think it'll go greatly. And I do want to briefly cover one potential complaint some of you may have. For example, if you live in Europe or some Asian country or from that island full of cannibals that the rest of the world just kind of ignores, and you're upset that the title is Let's Steal Iceland, yet only the US gets it and none of you are getting any pieces of Iceland, well, right now I'm building a really big knife so that we can cut Iceland into pieces like a cake and then deliver pieces of it to you guys. Uh, I would cut it up and do all this before before we steal it, but I don't have the knife done and it's a lot easier to cut on solid land. So be patient and I should be able to get it to you in like three to five business days. Oh yeah, and heads up, I am using UPS, so there's like a 50% chance that when you get your slice of the country, that it'll just be like crumbled, a bunch of rubble. Um, That's not my fault, that's their fault. I do apologize in advance. Oh yeah, uh, also make sure to subscribe or I will steal your country next.